unbeaten 154-pound contender. And he's set to make his U.S. debut March 26th. It is the kickoff event at Showtime. The spring and summer schedule, nine events over five months. Tim Zhu, a very important test in his U.S. debut against Terrell Gaucher. This is a hell yeah fight. I've been waiting for this one for, for quite a long time. If Tim Zhu comes in here and enters this mix, we're going to make even more fun fights than we already are. At the moment, I'm busting from all of this stuff, man. I had my first spark here in America the other day, which is incredible. We've been watching Tim Zhu for quite a while. We were witness to a lot of his father's most significant fights were on Showtime. So we had an eye on him, not just because of his talent, but because of the history. It's pretty cool and it's like a new chapter, a new beginning. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more years ahead. I'll, I'll take anyone on, man. I was, I was ready to think at less. I'm quite whoever, man, honestly. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Minneapolis. I'm Brian Custer, the host of Showtime Championship Boxing, and we are excited because on Saturday, Showtime Championship Boxing is making its first ever visit here to the Twin Cities and the land of 10,000 lakes and to the historic armory, uh, a historic armory, a building that has such rich boxing history and we can't wait because it is going to host a triple header of fights that come your way on showtime championship boxing and not just any fights i'm talking important fights crossroads fights from the main event all the way to the opening bout and you can include the co-main event and what a place to do it then here in minneapolis in the armory built in the 30s this building has such a rich boxing history, especially for this area. Some of the greats to ever lace up gloves fought in the armory. I'm talking about uh, the Henry Armstrongs fought there uh, in the late 1930s. Uh, my favorite fighter of all time, Sugar Ray Robinson, fought in the armory in 1942. And now the main event, Tim Zhu and Terrell Gachet get to etch their names into the legacy of of that great building in the main event. It all comes your way on Saturday, 9 o'clock Eastern, that is 6 o'clock Pacific time, on Showtime Championship Boxing. This event it is promoted by the best, TGB Promotions, No Limit Boxing, and Warrior Boxing as well. Tickets, they are on sale right now. You can get your tickets. They can be purchased at the Armory. Uh, you can also purchase them at armorymn.com through Ticketmaster. Again, armorymn.com through Ticketmaster. Let's talk about the fights. Again, crossroads fights here is what I'm talking about. And the main event is a special one because we've got a, a man who is in the top 10 when you talk about Challengers at 154 pounds, former Olympian in Terrell Grichet, who's fought for the world title. But also, it's special because this main event features a guy who's coming here to the States and making his debut. Uh, listen, he's the son of a boxing Hall of Famer. His father, former champion at 140 pounds, former unified champion uh, as well. In fact, he was a two-time champion at 140. He's making his U.S. debut, talking about Tim Zhu. And his father, Costa Zhu, had such a rich history with this network. I mean, you know, Costa Zhu fought 15 times here in the United States of his 33 fights. Ten of those on this network, where he was in an impressive 9-1 Knocked out seven of those opponents just on Showtime alone. And now his son is looking to follow in that legacy and really make his own path here in the United States and making his debut right here on Showtime in the main event. So it should be one heck of a fight in what is the most loaded division at 154 pounds. But we're going to begin the night, though. With junior welterweights, and we've got Elvis Rodriguez taking on Juan Jose Velasco. And, you know, Elvis, 12-1. and 1. He's got 11 knockouts. 
uh, taking on Juan, 23-2 and two with 14 knockouts. Uh, Martin Bader is here. He's going to do the translation for us. Um, Elvis, I'll start with you. Wasn't too long ago you suffered your first defeat, but then you come back, you get the victory that we saw on Showtime. Now you've got Juan Velasco in front of you. Tell us what should we expect Saturday when you get in the ring with Juan. Bueno, Elvis, eh, sufriste una dura derrota, pero luego te recuperaste. Tú pudimos ver por Showtime cómo pudiste salir de nuevo hacia arriba. Y ahora tenés a un oponente como Juan José Velasco, que representa otro desafío. ¿Qué sensaciones tenés vos de cara a la pelea de este sábado? Bueno, primero que nada... Eh... Lo único que, lo mejor que pude hacer fue sacar lo mejor de, de, de la derrota, encontrar la motivación. Y eso me, me motivó a seguir trabajando más duro en el gimnasio cada día y a seguir mejorando. Y gracias a Dios volvimos con una, con una gran victoria. Y este próximo sábado 26 de marzo podrán ver de nuevo todo lo, que, todo lo duro que hemos estado trabajando y lo vamos a demostrar encima del ring. You know what? That loss that you mentioned... It motivated me to come back to the gym and work even harder. And, you know, thank God that I was able to come back with that victory and show what I'm worth. And I plan to do that again this Saturday against a tough opponent like Velasco. But I believe that all my hard work is going to pay off and fans are going to see a great fight on Saturday night. Hmm. Juan, let me come to you. I mean, you've fought some of the toughest guys when you talk about uh, 140. I mean, Barrios, uh, Pro Gray. But you've won your last three fights. Give me the biggest difference from the fighter who we saw against Pro Gray, Berrios, to the guy we've seen lately and we'll see on Saturday. Bueno, tuviste oponentes muy duros a través de tu carrera, como Barrios y Pro Gray, por ejemplo, ¿no? Pero también a la misma vez has ganado los últimos tres compromisos que tuviste. ¿Cuál es la gran diferencia que ve, dirías que la gente ve en vos en este momento comparado con aquel que peleó contra Barrios y Progrey en el pasado? Bueno, primeramente lo que pasó con Barrio y Progrey ya quedó en el pasado, fue parte de la experiencia de mi carrera y pude sacarle lo mejor a eso. Este, y trabajé fuerte, eh, hice campamentos muy duros para nuevamente tener este compromiso y me siento preparado y tranquilo por todo el trabajo que hice. First things first, uh, what you mentioned about Barrios and Progre, that's in the past. I did learn my lessons from it, but I'm rarely focused on the present because I feel like I'm ready for this challenge, I'm ready to take things up another level, and I'm very confident in how my training went and the, and the weapons that I have prepared to fight this Saturday night. Elvis, listen, people love knockouts. And they love to see you stop people and then strum when you, once you've strum. So will we see that Saturday night when you face Juan? Eh, te vamos a ver tocar la proverbial guitarra después de, de la pelea del sábado de la noche. A la gente parece que le encanta eso. Bueno, claro que sí, claro que sí. Confío en mi preparación, confío en mi trabajo. Fue un campamento bastante bueno, trabajamos bastante fuerte y... Venimos bien confiados y enfocados en que el sábado 26 de mayo vamos a conseguir, eh, 26 de marzo vamos a conseguir una, una buena victoria y a seguir escalando en, en la división de las 140 libras. You can count on, the, on that air guitar. Uh, I, can, I can assure you that. You know why? Because I am confident in my training. I am confident in the foundation that I have laid before this Saturday night. And on March 26th, you're going to see me come out with the victory, my hand on top, and then music for everybody. <laughs> Juan, you got a confident guy in front of you. You believe a victory over Elvis Rodriguez means that Juan Velasco should be fighting for a world title next. Bueno, tenés a un rival que está evidentemente confiado, pero ¿crees que si le ganás mereces una oportunidad de pelear por el título mundial? Creo que después de esta victoria eh, me merezco nuevamente una chance por el título mundial. Eh, trabajé fuerte, como lo dije anteriormente, para este nuevo compromiso y bueno, por lo que escuché él también, así que muy contento para el sábado poder dar un, un gran espectáculo a todo público. I absolutely do believe that if I win this fight, I should get a world title shot. I can see that he's confident and he should be, but I am confident as well. And I know that on Saturday night, I'm going to provide the fans with fireworks and they're going to see a splendid fight from both of us. 
Folks, that's the opening bout of the night. Let's get to the co-main. Michelle Rivera and Joseph Adorno. This is going to be an all-action fight. These are two guys who know one another. So that adds to the intrigue of it. Michelle Rivera, who likes to call himself the new version of Muhammad Ali. Then you've got Joseph Adorno. Joseph, um, I'll start with you. You guys do know, know each other. How do two friends end up in the ring getting ready to duke it out here at the armory? Um, you know, my promoter called me about the fight. And, you know, I, I, me and Michelle, we, we know each other through social media. So, you know, I, I, I talked to him about it quick. And he said, you know, we, we shouldn't be fighting, if, you know, if there's no, like, title or nothing, nothing that puts us out there, you know. So, you know, we both agreed on, on, on not taking the fight. So, past like four days after that, you know, my promoter calls, call me on a three, three line and says, he's calling and saying that you scared to fight him and he ready to sign a contract. And I'm like, nah, I just got on the phone with him talking about we're not going to fight. What are you talking about? We, we know each other. And then they was like, nah. And then they put the three away and then I think it was his Lou, Lou, Lou de Cuba or something like that. Then said, nah, we ready to take the fight. He ready to sign a contract right now. So I'm like, ain't no way. I just got off the phone with him. And then he's telling me, no, this is what I just got off the phone with him right now. So I'm like, they gave me the contract all signed and also, you know, I signed mines. Wow. Um, so the, I assume then that kind of adds to the intrigue of this. I'm sure you're a little upset about that. Considering uh, everything that went down, now you're like, okay, well then you want to fight. I'm not gonna look like a, like you know like I'm scared or something. You know, I told we t I told him you know if it's if it's a good fight, of course you know we could be friends, but you know it's just business. But the way it all happened is like you know what, give me that contract, I'm signing the two. Love it, Michelle. Uh, he's given us the story. Anything different from your side of you? Oh uh, well, yeah. It's like I don't tell my opponents. It's like he was the last opponent that. Uh, they they say me it was to supposed to fight with this guy Rui, uh, mm, I don't remember the name now but I was to supposed to fight with five opponents and he was the last he write me wait they is calling me to fight you then I say him uh, I don't tell my opponents if you like the fight you take it if you don't like you take it it's like I know him uh, when I will fight he support me and uh, when I will fight I support him you know. But I don't matter. That that's boxing. That's boxing. Uh, I I'm right here for be for be legend. You know, I have the skills. Everybody know who is the reincarnation of Muhammad Ali. He's a good guy with good record. And if you take the fight, is good record for for be my record. You know, it's good to to get defeated in the in the line. But I don't say like he say me. I don't want to fight with you. But I don't know. They send me the contract. I say. I don't have the power to take my opponents. If you want to take it, you take it. If you don't want to take it, don't take the fight. You know what they're saying? It's not like I don't, I don't, I don't say him like, hey, don't take it. Uh, he say me like, uh, it feels like for more money, uh, world title is, you know, uh, better take the fight. It's more important. But uh, I say, yeah, if you want to take it, take it. But it's not my decision. It's yours. Yeah. Then now I'm ready for fight. Yes, man. And now we got it. Yeah, uh, so, so now we got the fight, Joseph. You know, Michelle, what should we expect on Saturday? You know, just a, a new world improved Joseph, you know, not just relying on my power, you know. We know he's a great fighter, of course. You know, so we're just going to go out there and put in the work, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been working, and I know this takes both of us from prospect to contender, whoever wins Saturday night. So, you know, I know it, I know it wasn't the line. So, you know, just got to be focused and, you know, just relaxed up in the ring. You know, you don't see fireworks like you said. We both got, we both bring um spectacular power. You know, we both undefeated fighters. So you know, it's gonna be. I think one of the out of the three cards is probably gonna take the the show. Michelle, what should we expect when you get in the ring with Joseph? Well, man, uh, I'm so fo uh, I'm focused for this fight. I was like four months in camp. You know, flying for Vegas and flying for uh, other places to to get better. You know. Uh, sparring with barriers and great and no 100 percent i'm ready one million percent ready you know uh, I, I believe that my last name is ready then 
I know that this uh, good fighter with good record, the man, I'm ready for this. Mm. You know, everybody know that I have this experience fighting with guys that I know. It's not my first time. Uh, my last fight was a guy that was training with my state trainer. Then, don't matter, man. That, that's boxing, and I'm ready for this. Everybody will see it, that this fight can be the fight of the night. But Michelle Winner, you know. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you anticipate, Michelle, this fight going the distance? Oh, I don't know, man. I'm ready for 14 rounds. If it's 14 rounds, uh, if I get the knockout, okay. But I'm ready for 20 rounds. It's 20 rounds. It's ready, man. Joseph, same question to you. Do you think this fight goes the distance? Whoever landed the first good punch is going to sleep. Folks, that's the co-main. <laughs> that's the appetizer. So now we get to the main event. Tim Zhu, Terrell Gachet. Listen, I mean, Terrell Gachet has fought for the world title, former Olympian, and now we get Tim Zhu. The U.S. debut of Tim Zhu. Uh, his promotion is No Limit Boxing. George Rose is the CEO, uh, also professional rugby uh, footballer as well, because I'm looking at him like, yo, you are not a boxer. <laughs> as big as you are, he is the CEO of No Limit Boxing. George, a few words. Look, I could have fitted in the super, super heavyweight division if I had <laughs> one of those, but... And look, it's an absolute pleasure to be here in America. I just want to acknowledge everyone who's opened their doors to us and been so welcoming. We're really excited to be here on a PBC show, on Showtime, headlining with Tim Zhu. Um, it's an absolute honour for us to be here. And man, just let me tell you a little bit about Tim Zhu first. Tim Zhu is the star of Australian boxing. He's the pay-per-view king. Man, he's, he's the face of Australian boxing back home. And for us to finally make the US debut here, we're really excited about it. We're, we're here, we're, we've been wanting to put the Super World Weight division on notice for a, for a while now. COVID held us back from that. Um, but now we're here, excited to make our US debut. Really, really excited about the, the rich history of the armory and to be here in Minneapolis. Um, we can't wait to, to rip in. And you're finally going to get to see Tim Zhu in the flesh here in the US because... Like I said, we've been hanging to get over here. And uh, just thank you again to PBC and Showtime for having us here. Looking forward to a big night. Thank you, sir. So here we go, the main event. Tim Zhu, 20-0. and 0. 15 of his wins have come by knockout. But he's got Terrell Gachet in front of him. 22-2 and two and 1. He's got 11 knockouts. Tim, I'll start with you because generally when a guy comes... Hey, making his U.S. debut, getting a lot of hype. Sometimes you want an easy touch. I want to ease my way on into the States. Yet, you take on a guy, top 10 and 154 pounds. He's fought for the world title. You tell me why you wanted Terrell Gachet in your U.S. debut. Yeah, look, um, Terrell Gachet's name popped up uh, before my last fight, uh, which we... Happily accepted straight away. Um, and for me, at this level where, where you are ranked number, number one in, in the WBO, there's no such thing as easy fights. There's no such thing as fights where you get to pick and choose. You've got to fight anyone and anyone, you know. And um, Terrell Gouche has got the credentials. He's, he's fought the, the very best in the division. And um, having, having to fight someone like that gets to prove to, to everyone you know, who, who you really are. So it's quite simple. Give me your thoughts on fighting here in the States. I mean, this is a place where your, your father was amazing. And uh, now you get to blaze your own trail. What are your thoughts on making your U.S. debut Saturday? Yeah, yeah look, it, this is a buzz for me. I'm, I'm, I'm like, super excited. Like, um, you know, I've, we've done great things in Australia. And, you know, we, we had um, arenas sell out in one day. Um, we got um, cities and arenas named after myself, which is pretty crazy. But you know, I needed I need to get out of here. I needed to get out of Australia and and come here to America because for me, this is what I've uh, I've always watched. I've always watched in my life growing up as a young kid, um, through the Roy Jones days, through the Felix Trinidad days. You know, this is this is what I watched on TV, and to to be finally being being able to experience it, it's a buzz. You know, this is what I live for. 
Uh, if this doesn't get your blood pumping, I don't know what will. Terrell, I kind of want to know your feelings on this. Because Tim is here. Man, there's a lot of hype surrounding him. You got to kind of be thinking like, uh, excuse me, you're on my turf. Uh, my division, I've been in here for a while. Give me your thoughts here on facing Tim Zhu and uh, wrecking this great debut here in the United States. Um, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm feeling dangerous. Uh, I just like this fight. Tim's a good fighter. You know, he, he bring the pressure, so it's going to bring the best out of me to fight a fighter like that. Tim, uh, I was reading some of the quotes when talking to the media, and, I mean, you're not only looking forward to making the debut, quote, I'm here to take over the division and take everyone out. Um, those are some lofty goals, especially at 154, yeah. and you got a guy like Gachet in front of you. Yeah, one, one, step, one step at a time, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to... So again, to just take part, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I want to really take over, and uh, I believe I believe it. And um, yeah, it's 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 in my heart, in my destiny. Terrell, you were uh, talking to the boxing scene uh, yourself and Apprentice Brewer, who is now added to your team uh, as well in training. Prentice told the boxing scene, "Quote: Tim is not his father." Terrell Gachet said he is a one-trick pony. Talk to us about that. Um, what I what I mean by that is like you know when I watch his fights, is uh, he he bring the pressure and that's what he do. I mean he don't do too much uh, that I had never seen before. You know what I mean? So uh, I think um, I'm gonna go out there and do some things he haven't seen before. I'm sure he's been watching me, watching my fights, and uh, I think. He's been watching the wrong thing because it's going to be a new thing. Mm. Tim, he's not his father in a one-trick pony. Your thoughts? What can I say, you know? Um, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll prove it. I'll, 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 I'll show him, I guess. Well, yeah. well, what can I say, you know? Yeah. Um, actions speak louder than words. Terrell, uh, you also was quoted as saying, one thing is he can't bully me, uh, and I'm going to show him some different things. Talk to me about that and what you meant by that. Um, I just feel like I'm a true junior middleweight. You know, I'm not one coming up from 147. You know, I'm, I've been this way for a while, so I feel like I'm strong, and, um, you know, I, I'm not to be bullied. I'm, I'm a, I don't take no shit, so excuse my language, but... Uh, I think it's a good fight. I'm glad that he took the fight. And it's a lot of, um, you know, respect to him for taking a fight like that. So we're going to go out there and put on a show for the fans and give him a great fight. Tim, when you get a lot of hype, you know, people want to see you back it up. I guess the question is, will you be the bully Saturday? Look, I'm, I'm going to do what I, what I always do. Um, the game plan is quite simple. Make as, many, uh, make as least mistakes as, as I possibly can and um, capitalize on his mistakes. So um, the man who makes the less mistakes will win. Hmm. Question, I think, for both of you. Tra um, the winner of this fight, do you believe the winner should get the winner of Castaño Charlo? Fuck yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> no other way around. Hmm. Both of you ready for the winner of that fight. Absolutely. Okay, I was born ready. We'll wrap it up with this. Terrell, we'll start with you. For people, I, I would say around the world, that's going to be watching this fight, considering he's coming all the way over from Australia. The thousands that in Minneapolis that are paying, what can you guarantee that they are going to get Saturday night when you step in the ring with Tim Zoo? Well, I, I prepared great. You know, we had an injury-free camp. Um, I'm in shape. I have some great sparring. They're going to see a, a well live boxer that's going in there to to dominate and have an action-packed night. Mm. Tim, it's your debut here in the States. For everybody in Australia that's going to be watching, here in the States who loved your father, are like, okay, let me see what the son's got. 
What can you guarantee them that they're going to get Saturday night? Um, I think me and Terrell are going to produce non-stop action, you know, uh, non-stop action until the final bell rings or if it were, or before the bell rings. So uh, I'm coming with everything. I've had a, I've had a good camp, as, I, as everyone always says, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for this opportunity to be fighting here in America. Uh, thank you to all my fans all around the world. Um, I've got a big responsibility ahead of me. But I, but I intend to, to take it with both hands. Fantastic. Folks, that's the evening. Saturday night, Showtime Championship Boxing, 9 o'clock Eastern. It is 6 p.m. Pacific time. The main event has Tim Zhu making his U.S. debut, taking on Terrell Gache in the main event at 154 pounds. You do not want to miss it. You already heard them. The winner says they deserve to fight the winner of Charlo Castaño. It should be one heck of a night. Uh, guys, I think we're going to face off. Uh, we'll start with the first fight of the night. I want to thank everybody for watching. unbeaten 154 pound contender and he's set to make his u.s debut march 26th it is the kickoff event showtime spring and summer schedule nine events over five months tim zoo a very important test in his u.s debut against terrell gaucher this is a hell yeah fight i've been waiting for this one for, for quite a long time if tim zoo comes in here and enters this mix we're going to make even more fun fights than we already are at the moment i'm busting from all of this stuff man i had my first spot here in america the other day which is incredible We've been watching Tim Zhu for quite a while. We were witness to a lot of his father's most significant fights were on Showtime. So we had an eye on him, not just because of his talent, but because of the history. It's pretty cool and it's like a new chapter, a new beginning. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more years ahead. I'll take anyone on, man. I was, I was ready to think less. I'm quite whoever, man, honestly.